All right, boys and girls, Miss Willie's going to read you the story called Owen. And don't forget, you need a blanket for this story. So stop the video if you need to go get your blanket. <clears throat> Owen by Kevin Hankies. And this is the title page. That's right. You guys are learning. Owen had a furry yellow blanket. He had it since he was a baby. He loved it with all of his heart. Do you guys have a favorite blanket like that? Fuzzy goes where I go, said Owen. And Fuzzy did. Upstairs, downstairs. Inside, outside, in between, upside down. See, he's upside down in that picture. Fuzzy likes what I like, said Owen, and Fuzzy did. Orange juice, grape, chocolate milk, ice cream, peanut butter, and applesauce cake. Isn't he getting a little old to be carrying that thing around, said Mrs. Tweezers, a very nosy neighbor. Haven't you heard of the blanket fairy? Owen's parents had not. Mrs. Tweezers filled them in. Well, that night, Owen's parents told Owen to put Fuzzy under his pillow. In the morning, Fuzzy would be gone, but the blanket fairy would leave an absolutely wonderful, positively perfect, especially terrific big boy gift in its place. Well, Owen snuffed, stuffed Fuzzy inside his pajama pants and went to sleep. No blanket fairy, said Owen in the morning. No kidding, said Owen's mother. No wonder, said Owen's father. Look, he's got it in his pants. Fuzzy's dirty, said Owen's mother. Fuzzy torn and ratty, said Owen's father. No, said Owen. Fuzzy is perfect. And Fuzzy was perfect for Owen. Well, Fuzzy play Captain Plunger with Owen. Supposed to play with your blankets in the toilet? Ew. Fuzzy helped Owen become invisible. See? Miss Willie's invisible. And Fuzzy was essential when it came to nail clippings and haircuts and trips to the dentist. Fuzzy would go with him if he went to the dentist. If he went to the doctor, if he went anywhere, he always carried Fuzzy with him. Can be a baby forever, said Mrs. Tweezers, that very nosy neighbor. Haven't you heard of the vinegar trick? Owen's parents had not. Mrs. Tweezers filled them in. When Owen wasn't looking, his father dipped Owen's favorite corner of Fuzzy into a jar of vinegar. Blech. Vinegar is very sour if you haven't had that, boys and girls. Owen sniffed it and smelled it. And sniffed it and smelled it. He picked a few, a new favorite corner. Then he rubbed the smelly corner all around in his sandbox and buried it in the garden. Ooh. And then he dug it up again. Good as new, said Owen. <laughs> Fuzzy wasn't very fuzzy anymore, but Owen didn't mind. He carried it, and he wore it, and he dragged it everywhere. He sucked on it, he hugged it, and he twisted it. Twist, twist, twist. What are we going to do, asked Owen's mother. School is starting soon, said Owen's father. Can't bring a blanket to school, said Mrs. Tweezers. Hmm. Haven't you heard of saying no? Owen's parents had not. Mrs. Tweezers filled them in. That very nosy neighbor. I have to bring Fuzzy to school, said Owen. No, said Owen's mother. No, said Owen's father. Owen buried his face in Fuzzy just like this. He was dead to cry. <laughs> Don't worry, said Owen's mother. I'll be right 
back, said Owen's father. Then suddenly, Owen's mother said, oh, I have an idea. It was absolutely wonderful, positively perfect, especially terrific idea. First, she snipped and she sewed. Then she snipped again and she sewed some more. Snip, 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 sew, sew, sew. Dry your eyes, wipe your nose, hurry, hurry, hurry. Now Owen carries one of his not-so-fuzzy handkerchiefs with him wherever he goes. His mommy made his blanket into a bunch of handkerchiefs so he could keep it in his pocket and still have his furry, fuzzy blanket with him. Isn't that nice? Look at all the different ways he used it. And then she could wash one and send him with another one. That is a smart mommy. And Mrs. Tweezers doesn't say a thing anymore, that old nosy neighbor. And Owen is very happy. The end. Now snuggle with your fuzzy blanket and maybe watch a movie or a show with Mama. Bye.